I think, first of all, I think at that early age, um, the youngest that I've worked with in my career, coaching career, has been uh, college age players, you know, whether it's a freshman in college, sophomores, juniors, seniors. I haven't coached lower than that. I coached in Japan for three years over there in their pro leagues, but they were all men. It was a professional league. So I would say 18 and 19 is the youngest, and we have 18 and 19s in the, you know, 19-year-olds in the NBA now. So uh, I think the most important thing that you can do with a young player is to teach them the fundamentals. One is a stance, just getting down in the stance and staying in the stance. And, and you know, you, they talk about weightlifting. I don't think you need that at the age of 11. But one thing you have to do is have natural body strength to stay down in the stands, athletic stands, to play the game of basketball. Ball handling, just the fundamentals of ball handling with both hands, I think is very important. Uh, you know, the defensive fundamentals, moving your feet defensively, sliding your feet, those things that you can teach a young player. More so, I think shooting technique is important, but I, I think I wouldn't, you know, I'd let that come naturally. I mean, I wouldn't spend all the time just on shooters, and that way uh, they can get an all-around, well-rounded game, more so to speak. But the fundamentals are so important at that age, more so than plays, or set offenses, or set defenses, and all that uh, at an early age. And I think that's the difference between European young players and North American players, is that they do learn the fundamentals uh, at a very early age.